was a great collector of antiques of all periods, but the Victorian period was her favourite, and I was about 15 or 16 when I started taking a serious interest in collecting. I just love the Victorian period because of the sheer variety of styles that were available at that time. They had revivals of every earlier style and they loved anything exotic from foreign countries. Just about any style can be found in the Victorian period. I inherited the house from my mother who had inherited it from her mother. After my mother died, I uh, began uh, preparing the house to open it to the public. People have to make a booking before they come for a tour because the house has to be got into order before they can come. It's a social history tour. I take people through the house and tell them how the Victorians used to live. If you want to say to someone, I would like to speak to you, you would just touch the tip of the fan with one finger. Or you could say, I want to get to know you better by fluttering the fan below your eyes. Or by fanning slowly from side to side, it means I'm bored, please come to my rescue. <laughs> People often ask me what it's like to live in a museum. Of course, most museums, the uh, curator does not live in the house. But in this case, I absolutely love living in the house. I do think that we can learn a lot from Victorian period. We uh, could learn to have better manners for one thing <laughs> and there are certain gadgets that could be brought back. This is a very useful invention, an egg boiler. It has a frame which holds up to four eggs at a time and for each egg you pour one measuring cup of water into the boiler and then the burner works with methylated spirits. If you want soft boiled eggs, you use the shallow side. If you want hard boiled eggs, you use the deep side. When the flame goes out, the eggs are done. I normally dress as a Victorian maid when I'm doing tours. I'm afraid today I am the lady of the house, so all I can do is sit still and be waited on hand and foot by the servants. <laughs> I do have modern technology, but I just hide everything. So yes, there is a computer, there is a smartphone. I'm certainly not on social media. I've always said that people who are uh, on social media don't have a life. I'm far too busy living to actually tell anybody about what I'm doing. I've never identified with South Africa as my home. I, I tend to think of England as home, even though I was born in this country and I've only had one trip to England, but uh, I love England. I have these two lives that uh, uh, fit together very well, the life in the modern world and the life in the uh, Victorian period.